Let's talk about features on Hot Wheels and Matchbox vehicles because I mentioned in a previous video that it used to be that you would get opening doors and opening hood. Not always, but it was fairly common. It, more often than not, you would get it. So when I got to this, I did, as I just mentioned, that short on this. And by the way, this is actually express delivery from Matchbox. It's been around, looks like, since 2009, 2010. This particular one was, I believe, 2018 or 2019. But in my short, it looks good. I mean, this is a nice looking little thing. And I like anything NASA, stuff like that. You see a little U.S. flag there. But I didn't mention, because you can't mention on a short where you're just audio dubbing it with music, that this is a metal base and a plastic body. Typically, I don't like plastic body stuff. Most people don't. Usually like metal. You know, in the die-cast world now, you either get a metal body and a plastic base or a plastic body and a metal base. It's rare that you will find something metal and metal without spending the extra few more dollars. For these mainline cars, you just don't get it. They're cutting costs. Let's see if I can, any of these. Yeah, see, they're all going to be. They're all more wreathed. Even this. This is metal here. But the nacelles are plastic. Of course, it's coming all apart here. And the nacelles are plastic. So even part of it, not metal. And of course, this one I think is all, well, metal base. But everything else is plastic. You have to go way back to get metal on metal. And in this case, what year is this? 1997 I saw somewhere on here but look at this I don't know what's up with the coloring here that's kind of looks like it's tarnishing a bit but this is nice heavy from 1997 metal on metal and that's how it used to be like I said you would get sometimes doors that would open or a hood and then recently within the past few years to get metal on metal like I say you have to get something special you pay a little more for even when I buy stuff like this, the Fall Guy truck, this appears to be a plastic base on a metal body, and this was a $10 truck, I think. If you buy them new, $7 or $8. So I get to this, and even though it's a plastic body, it has the metal base, does it get something extra of that feature? Well, yes. If I can get it open here. Oh, I'm so close. There we go. This actually opens up to reveal the inside. So an actual feature on a modern $1 car, which is pretty cool. I like stuff like this. Even though it's a plastic body, I'll overlook it because it's NASA. But I do want to mention, because this is express delivery, not anything NASA in here, no astronauts, no launch and flight support stuff. It's just open because this was probably like a UPS truck or a postal truck or something like that in its first iteration. But still, I'll take it. I could put stuff in there. Maybe I'll put an astronaut. Something like that in there, but I think that is neat. I like this. If we could get metal body stuff with a little feature like this, that would be even better. But I just wanted to mention that. You have to go way back. Before you get metal on metal and before you get features, I mean, this the most recent other feature thing I've seen. And it's just where he wobbles back and forth as it rolls. But I like just that something extra. It makes it feel like you get a little bit more. And that's what this video is about. So comment below if you like feature vehicles or if you prefer just to get maybe metal on metal with no features or if you like them just like they are. Comment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.